Hey, so I wanted to do a video on this theory that I had a while ago. And it has to do with a memory formation and frequencies. Because most of my theories have to do with. Um, so basically, I was doing a research expedition, like watching videos on cancer treatments. And there was one guy who had uh, utilized um, ultrasound uh, to create a destructive force. And his, uh, his mechanism was um, the 11th harmonic. So it was the, basically every, um, everything has a resonant frequency and you can look at it on like an atomic level and you can look at it on a chemical level. Um, and it's true in both situations with different implications, uh, it's going to have different frequencies, obviously, and they're just going to have um, different um, consequences in the, when it attenuates. Uh, but the, anyway, the, um, the idea was to find the resonant frequency of a tumor and then by using the 11th harmonic of that resonant frequency, you could create a destructive um, force and, and kill the, the cancer um, that way. So I thought that was interesting, but I started to think about um, what I was into at the time, which was uh, a, a a sleep aid, a tool that could um, induce vivid dreams every night. So that was what I wanted to create. And I thought I was like chasing a path to, to create a kind of tool to basically like a, something that you you slept on and plugged in that could uh, induce very vivid dreams that you could remember very clearly um, as a consequence of using it every night in a repeatable way. Not control your dreams. It wasn't like you could program in, oh, I want to dream about this or I want to dream about that. But I wanted to make something that would make your dreams very memorable. Um, through use of, you know, manipulating the electrostatic environment. And I was, I felt in my experience successful, but then it faded. I feel like I adapted to it. Um, and as I adapted to it, I had to increase and then it kind of faded entirely. Um, so it it was never really a marketable item because there's, you know, a homeostasis that is difficult to overcome. And that's just the reality that I ran into that I, I couldn't think around. So anyway, um, I was interested in the dream frequency at that time. And somewhere in, oh yeah, it was the rapid eye movement because this was my assumption. So they say that your brain operates, your consciousness, your, your thinking self um, operates. Like I've heard this, I couldn't find a reference. I just did a quick Google, but between like 40 hertz when you're sleeping and 80 hertz when you're awake. 
And it's kind of funny that everything we watch is 60 hertz, which is right in the middle between our the processing speed of our brain. And I wonder if watching 60 hertz frequency all the time actually slows down um, the, the thinking process of our brain. Not that that's a bad thing, <laughs> because thinking too fast can get you in trouble. But the watching the 60 hertz because we people have well everything has a nature to synchronize so i wonder if our brain frequencies are being slowed down by watching too slow a frequency on uh on all televisions anyway that's just a side thought but between 80 hertz when you're awake and 40 hertz um, when you're asleep and I kind of reinforce that belief with reading that your rapid eye movement is around 40 hertz and that's the all the time in which your brain is processing the um excuse me oh short-term memories and transcribing them into long-term memories so I started to think, I'm like, well, what's the 11th harmonic of, um, you know, 40 hertz? And I was at 4,400. Well, what's that? That turns out to be middle C. So the middle C frequency is the 11th harmonic of the frequency that your brain is operating at um, during the tr transcribing of sh short-term memories into long-term memories. And... I'm like, oh, what are those, like, cosmic twists, you know? And that's the 11th harmonic. And then this guy's teaching that the cancer can be destroyed by the 11th harmonic of the um, resonant frequency. So I'm like, there's pro that's probably the resonant frequency of that um, chemical compound that's uh, acting in your brain as a neurotransmitter, it, you know? So that is what I was thinking. Anyway, I just thought it was a cool video, something to talk about.